Well, I guess every day can't be a beautiful day. Sometimes it's gotta rain. And uh, and the bees kind of just said, nope, I'm going back in the hive today. Welcome back everybody to our Let's Play. This is Rifts. This is episode 55 in the Minecraft. Uh, we get a new update, uh, point 23 in the beta. So nothing really new happened other than I think the frogs decided that they like uh, slime balls instead of seagrass now so I mean I guess that's kind of a thing um I don't really have any why is there a llama there's always a llama everywhere I walk in this island there's always a stupid llama I don't really have any major plans for today's episode I guess one thing I could do is take these maps and uh go out and fill these corners in I, I never really noticed it I feel like I noticed it one time and then just didn't do anything about it but I guess now is a really good time to, you know, I can't see anything. But now is a really good time to go out here and, uh, yeah, deal with that. I wonder if the power has ran out to the generator yet. Uh, nope, okay, everything seems to be alrighty in here then. I did have a thought though. I thought about taking these out of the ceiling and putting these into the wall right here. But I think if I do that, I would have to put them on both sides, which I'm not 100% opposed to but i did do some work in here i changed this table out because this room is supposed to be dedicated to the uh study of the navigational blocks and electronics and stuff so i thought maybe that we should change this table out for something like this to put different components on here so we can learn how to use them and take them apart and build them ourselves and this is just another one of those examples uh, right here, but I added this little station right here put in uh, some a little bit more of these copper blocks put a little shelf in right there So this oh and I added this right here, too So the room is starting to fill out just a little bit. We got our mainframe computer going on Right here. So this thing is pretty sweetly neat Nothing in this lab is ever freaking simple um, I gotta put this redstone torch like right uh, where did it go? I just saw it a second ago. Oh, is it right here? Yeah, I gotta put this redstone torch, like, right here. There we go. That's actually a bit better. And then once we get it right here on this side, it'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be really cool. So I, I'm actually digging at a whole lot better. Uh, we might actually be able to get away with putting some type of, uh, where is it at? Some type of trap door over it, I think. I mean, we'll just put this one over it and see what it looks like. Although, hopefully it doesn't cause like, oh, I actually like that. Hopefully it doesn't cause like this weird thing to go on right here. Actually, we can go ahead and test this out. Uh, no, I think we're good as far as that goes, right? If I just place that flat, yep. Okay, good, good. We won't get the weird flappy noise. Oh, there it went. Oh, the lights are off. Oh, the lights are off. That means, so the, once the lights turn off, then this thing up here should actually open, or I mean move back over, right? Uh, y yeah, okay, so when the next time there's a thunderstorm, that's just supposed to shift down, toggle this T flip-flop, and it's going to restart the system all over again. So I got a bit of an idea, though. I think we're going to redo, uh, we're going to redo this door, and then I'm going to redo it to something that's a whole lot more li reliable. This, this door, it works. It just doesn't work in this world. Now, in my test world, it actually works. I guess maybe because this world is a bit bigger and it has a bit of uh, lag issues, I guess. Uh, but that's okay because we're going to build something that's going to be a whole lot better and a whole lot cooler. So that's going to be kind of interesting. Right now, I got to tear out all of this stuff to make way for the new circuitry that's got to come down here. Oh, that actually might be a bit of an issue. Maybe. Maybe. Well, I don't know. I don't think so, actually. That might just barely be right out of the way. So welcome, everybody, to my test world. Uh, yeah, this is my test world. I've had... These are the bit new, uh, new stuff over here, but I've had this world for about a good six or seven years. It started off on my phone. Um, but anyways, this right here is what we're going to be using it's a double piston extender but with a slime block on it now i did not copy this design from anywhere on youtube this actually came out of my head and i don't know when i made it this actually has been here for a good 
it's been here for a while, so I don't quite remember when I made it. I just accidentally stumbled across it uh, about 15 minutes ago trying to create a different door. Um, because, yeah, if you, we come over here, this is the door that we have. And as you can tell, it works. Like, everything is fine with it. It doesn't break, but for some reason in my world it does. And if you remember when I first built it, it worked. So it's something to do with my world. The only issue and worries I have with this door is how wide it is. Um, and I think I can just barely get away with how tall it is. This part, of course, I really don't care about. But um, yeah, so I guess we're going to get busy building it. I'm pretty sure I could try to make this fit in here. Okay, so I got the double piston extender done. It's pretty simple. Um, it's just an observer coming off of this into this block with the piece of redstone dust. And then a block right on top of here. That's set to 1. This set to 4. There's nothing on that block right there. So, boop. And then it goes all the way up. So then the hard part is <laughs> wiring the rest of these pistons up. That is actually going to be the difficult part because I got to figure out some way to wrap this around the base without destroying the uh, the exterior of it. Okay, now we shouldn't have a uh, an issue anymore. So if I just come right over here, flick that lever, everything should be working just fine. All I gotta do is manage to find my way up this stupid staircase that we created. Okay, cool, yep, that's closed. And then we come over here, we flip that lever, and then everything should open up if I can just make my way up this stupid thing. Yes! Okay, thank God that works because I was starting to get like a little disheartened uh, for a second and then we can just close that up like that and there we go! Okay, I figured it out. I've got it done at last. This took oh, a, 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 a muster minnow amount of time. Like I am oh i am over it actually but if we press the button we'll get the door to come open and then the door will close again and then we still have our key card thing right here the only thing i will say is that maybe i need to switch this button out for a stone button because i think that button is taking a little too long to uh to turn off and it's causing one of the pistons to stay extended longer than what it needs to so i think a stone a uh, stone button would work just a whole lot better. And boop. There we go. See, that piston isn't staying extended that long anymore. Um, now, what to do with this? I think we can finally take this down, which I'm actually kind of happy because it blocks that window right there. So I'm pretty happy to be finally taking this thing out and it opens this side of the room. A whole lot more which I don't know what we're gonna use it for but it's here so I am happy about that and I'm loving how this is all turning out now alrighty well I'm so do you guys see that <laughs> I don't know what that was I'm slightly irritated um, I had recorded a bunch of clips and for some reason the microphone wasn't like recording so I'm pretty annoyed uh, one of the things that we did was we fixed up the fortune night. I had to do some AFK over there at the uh, at the mob spawn. I mean at the uh, Not the skeleton spawner the zombie spawner and then we had a lightning storm which we rushed back over here Well, actually in this point I rushed back over here uh, And we were able to charge up the generator from the lightning strike. So as you can now see the generator is, uh, is, is powered. I gotta switch the banners out with the green fully charged battery. Ban that one, that's the one that we need. Uh, but also, I kind of have a small idea of what I'm gonna do down here, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking cobblestone. Um, to be honest with you, or not necessarily cobblestone, maybe some type of fur, like the furnaces. I think that might be a really good option. Uh, something's happened with my render distance because I don't normally, yeah, we don't normally see that over there, do we? Or do we? No, we don't normally see that, right? Yeah, there's no way that we're normally seeing that. Let's go run back into our settings real quick. And then scrolly down to video. 
And yep, that's what I thought. Our somehow, why does this happen? I don't understand why that happens. 32. I think I play it typically on 30. It's about the max that I typically like to go for it. Yeah, but um, we gotta go down and get some cobblestone. And uh, so I have a small idea of what to do with that floor, but I don't know. I don't know how well it's gonna turn out. You know, I swim past this hole like a lot, and I don't really remember where this hole came from. And I don't remember this cave, like, at all. I don't remember exploring this cave. I don't know where this cave comes from. I don't even know how I got into this cave to begin with. Uh, that's a long ways down, down there. I want, but I need cobblestone, so I guess, I guess this is a good place to start. Did I come in this place from up here? Yeah, see, I don't remember this at all. I broke pretty close to the surface nope we didn't come in right here so I guess we'll come uh, mine up a bunch of cobblestone from down here I guess I've noticed if you're using an efficiency four, if you just click the mouse button a bunch of times it's so much faster than doing this like this is me holding the mouse down see I'm just holding the button down and that's how fast I'm, uh, I'm mining that now if I just click it I feel like that's so much faster I mean, look how fast I just broke all those blocks. Do, 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 do. I mean, I'm just like, I don't know. It feels like kind of creative mode. You know, when you click the mouse a bunch of times and you just break the blocks. I feel like that's kind of what this, that, that, that feels like to me. <laughs> hey, would you look at that? The little guy made it all the way over here. Well, you know what, dude? You might as well just come into the lab, man. Why don't you just, uh, yeah, why don't you just swing on in? Would love to have you. You know what? That'd be kind of cool, right? Have like a little frog just running around the, the the lab. I don't know. Part of me doesn't want to put him in the lab. I mean, why would I put him in here? He's enjoying, he's enjoying his freedom in the wilderness. Well, let's bring. Oh, come on back over here, dude. Well, let's let's come back over here so you don't get no radioactive and turn into like uh, a ninja frog or something, and then we got a fight. That would really suck. Yep. There you go, man. Just come back over here. Stay right here. We'll be uh, we'll be happy. So I'm thinking something a little bit like this with the furnaces, and then we could have some other mixed blocks in uh, into this area right here, just to kind of, um, I have a bit of an idea. Uh, there is an idea that I'm having in my head. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this sentence. Uh, this episode has been really, really annoying to make, so I'm, I'm kind of just like ah, at it. Um, but I think that's actually all the time I have for you guys today. If you did like this video, please click like button. If you want to keep me motivated to make more of these, please click the subscribe. But it's all I have time for you guys today, and I will catch you in the next episode.